Hello, hello, welcome to SaberTech, and in today's episode I'll be introducing you to a new style of sorting systems. These here are called item categorizers, or slot reservation free multi-item sorters. Uh, I call them item categorizers. Anyways, what makes this different from a normal multi-item sorting system is, while these, the standard multi-item sorting system requires you to have every single slot filled up with an item, these, you do not have, a, have to have every single slot filled up. So, you, what, I'll say that again. You do not have to have every single slot of a chest filled up with an item. So you don't have to go through it and leave items in here. No, you don't have even have to have any of the items in there at all. And if I come up here and dump a few of the items in, I'll just dump some of those, dump some dust, throw those on in there. You'll see they are making their way, their way into the system. And there's a redstone. And if I come over here to the next one, this one I have uh, colored blocks because I'll go ahead and mention this now. This here, in my opinion, is finally the answer for the colored blocks uh, sorting, how to sort them. Because they don't really fit with the bulk storage. They don't really fit with multi-item sorting. Uh, sorting over there. I usually just put them off in their own separate chests because yeah because so I use some of them so many uh, so often I pay about require a bulk storage but some of the other colors I use them so little like magenta like magenta wool and especially white wool. Uh, I use them so little and I have so little of it I I, I should put it in a multi-item sorting system so I don't want all my wool and all the colors to be separated from each other. I usually end up just putting some manual chests off to the side, but these items categorizers, you can just have you can have one chest and get all the colors into that one chest. So I believe it's going to be a brilliant solution for that. And before I get any further, I want to go ahead and thank uh, Jonathan Peters for introducing me to these. Uh, in my multi-item sorting system comment section, he asked whether I had ever looked at these before, the item categorizers. I said no. I looked at one of his videos, and I was, I was, I was immediately excited for it. As soon as he explained how the system works, I immediately liked, subscribed. Uh, I, I turned the video off. I came back and finished the video later. But I immediately hopped over here into this test world started a brand new graveyard of sorting systems over there. And yeah, I am super happy for it. And I'll go ahead and add again, no, uh, disclaimer here. This here, what you see is a is my first prototype. I plan on making several improvements to it. I plan on making the chest closer together. I plan on hopefully making it faster. It's at half hour speed. I think that's about as fast as I'll get it, uh, realistically speaking. Right now, this system here can only sort up to five blocks at a time, uh, five different items at one time. Uh, I, you can get up to eventually an entire double chest that you can sort out. Entire double chest, as I said, right now I'm I'm at a, I'm still at a high level, so I'm making progress. I just wanted to go ahead and share this new system with you. I would not suggest building this system here, as I said. I'll be doing a block for block tutorial on it. And the reason is, and the reason is, it may be to help you understand the system better. But like I said, the improvements are coming, and yeah, keep an eye out for those. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into how to build one of these. Like I said, it'll be a block by block tutorial. But like I said, I would not suggest building one of these in survival mode yet, because improvements are coming. So on to the tutorial. All right, guys. So what I have here. I have here a single line of hoppers, and I have a single hopper on the side looking into the line. So what we can do is we can lock this, we can lock both of these hoppers, and in here we can toss in the items we, we want to be categorized. This here holds, this hopper over here, like I said, will hold the items we want to be categorized. You can fill it on up with all five slots taken. You don't have to, you can leave the slots open, whatever. The one it is looking into needs 21 items on the side. 
items that are not in the categorizer. And what is going to happen here, if we throw an item in the system that is not in a categorizer, not listed in a categorizer, it's going to fill up this, it's going to finish filling up this hopper. And then we can unpower this hopper. And it's going to try to push an item into this hopper over here, but it can't because all the items, all the slots are filled up. So let that, let that go on its way. But now, if we throw an item that is in the system, let's say a sticky piston, then what happens is when we do unpower this hopper, then we get two sticky pistons over here. And that is the secret to these, to these item categorizers, because we can tell whether there are two sticky pistons in here or not. So the way we can do that is by simply running a comparator off of this hopper. If there's 21 plus 1, that is 22 items, then that's nothing. But as soon as the next item goes in, the comparator goes up another signal strength, and we can detect that. Detect that. So I'm going to show you how to, how to do that real quick, the way I did right over there. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and come down here, and we need to pull a comparator out of a hopper that is coming into the hoppers down here. And it's going to run into a repeater on two ticks. It needs to be on two ticks. It's going to have a run into a block that has a torch on it. That has a torch directly above it. It's going to a block. And we need some glass right here. It's all block right there. And we can we need some piece of dust up here. Repeater set on three ticks. And the repeater set on two ticks piece of version that's down there. And this here is locking this first hopper there. Down here we lock the bottom hopper with a simple piece of version dust there. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and put in a dropper under this hopper. Because it's not going to do us any good if this hopper completely runs out of items. It's going to push the item over here. But we need a system that takes one of those two items, the item is pushed out, and get it to come back into itself. What we'll about a simple dropper there, hopper, hopper underneath of this one here. So once it, get, once it gets two items in it, if it's just one item, nothing's going to happen. It's going to keep going. But if it was two items, then one item is going to get pushed out this way. But then this hopper down here is also going to get it unlocked simultaneously from a system we're going to, about to put in. So when item goes straight, the other item goes down into this dropper, back up into, up into this hopper, so we recycle the same item. Now, we need to put in a comparator over on this side, running into two blocks just like so, with some dust, with a torch, come down two blocks, with a repeat, uh, piece of resin dust there, and a repeater there. You may recognize this, this as a non-stackable item filter. That's what I usually use it for, but it works here. So that is locking this hopper down here, and it allows us to go ahead and throw in our feathers, which have ended up down here. So we can go ahead and fill this one on up. We can throw the items we want categorized in, just like so. And the final thing we need to do is we need a way to tell once the item has passed the system and it pulls the items out, we need to be able to tell it to go into a separate layer of chests. And the way we do that, we have a hopper here. We need to go off to the side just like so. And it's going to go into that chest of air. And I'm going to have this run straight. So we need a torch here, go down two blocks, come over to the side, and have a repeater there set on two ticks. So now your, system's, your system is actually done. You can throw some more torches down, uh, chests down there, some more hoppers, whatever you feel like, however most storage you think you need. So what's going to happen now is we can go ahead and make sure this chest is empty. We can throw an item that is not in the system there. 
and it's going to run my concrete ends up down there. For an item that isn't a system, let's say a sticky piston, it should end up down there, and yes it does. So that is how the system works. I hope it, hopefully that explained it well enough to you. You might need to build it in your own world and take a better look at it. But yeah, the last thing we need to do is we need to put this down to half hopper speed. Now the reason you need this to be at half hopper speed is because you have to stop each item in this hopper and you have to unlock this hopper to test whether any of the items can stack with it. So you have to test each item individually and that's going to slow the, you, 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 the whole system as you go slower. The way I do it as I put some blocks there, come up a block like so with a torch there, come over just like so, and off of that torch you need a repeater, next to your repeater a second repeater, that's right there. One of these repeaters needs to be on two ticks, and that is going to make a clock, just like so, but you need both of these pieces of, both these pieces of dust. So now, let's throw in, say, eight pistons and all the, and all of that. So what's going to happen, the pistons are just getting stacked and another one is getting pushed in. But Y concrete does not stack, it never has two in it. So Y concrete ends up over there, pistons end up down there. So yeah, that is how the system works. I hope that I explained it good enough. Uh, the second system would go over here, with that is a hopper there, and of course you would repeat the exact same process with that or there, and the comparator running off of it. So hopefully that explained it well enough for you guys, and yeah. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and uh, I, this is a project I am super excited for, like I said. Uh, I am working right over here on improving the system dramatically by adding an entire double chest worth of items to be categorized. And yeah, I'm just excited for it. And if you would, if you want to see what I come up with here in a couple of weeks, probably because I'll be headed out of town for two weeks. But yeah, if you're excited to see what I come up with, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my video. And be sure to like this one if you're happy if you're if you're as excited as I am. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.